Hey viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Scorpios and it's for November onwards 2023. I hope you'll enjoy it. Welcome everybody. Your coffee cup is beautiful and I'll show you what it looks like starting from the beginning and all the way. So many changes, so many miracles, so many, so much. So I'll go through it slowly. Welcome dear viewers, uh, welcome those of you, uh, first I'd like to say happy birthdays to all Scorpios. And the Scorpio is born in October, the Scorpio is born in November. I wish you a glorious birthday, a lot of prosperity, the best of the best in everything you do and all my blessings to all of you. And thank you all for being here. My dear viewers, for those of you who are new, please be mindful that prior to this coffee cup, I always meditate and get in connection to the guardian angels of every Scorpio or the majority of Scorpio that watch this coffee cup. And I'm given information which I deliver. Uh, I write it down on a piece of paper and then I deliver it to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that. Now, my dear viewers, without delay, let me put my glasses on and I will begin to see what is going on here. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, the first and the most important matter seems to be here is as though a lot of success is coming your way. A lot of things are changing. A new path is opening, a new lifestyle, a new something that is spectacular. But it seems like one guardian angel is showing me a turtle in their hand. Right, a turtle uh, saying perhaps to slow down a bit or maybe be a bit patient, a bit, a bit of perseverance. Um, I'm also seeing a beautiful love that is yet to, to bloom, a beautiful love heart. So this angelic being, which is like your guiding angel, is showing to me that a little bit of patience, perhaps four. Number four is shown here. Number four being um, four weeks, maybe four days, four weeks, four months maximum. But a little bit of patience is shown that it's needed for new love to bloom and to grow uh, into something miraculous. It also shows that you need to be a little bit patient in regard to something ending in your life, coming to an end. It's just dragging, but it should have ended some time ago. It's going to end very soon. It shows to me that your worries about money um, are going to be diminishing as long as you are willing to accept prosperity into your life. Prosperity is coming. You can earn unlimited income doing you know, what you exactly love doing, but you need to follow your dreams. You need to have confidence. You need to believe in yourself and... Um, your ability to success is beyond your expectations. I see that you are very much into spiritual growth rather than anything else. Maybe it's a level, different Scorpios at different levels. Of course, um, the younger ones will be into making money. The ones that are getting uh, much more um, growing beyond where they are. It's like, you know, the levels of ease you're becoming more. The older you're getting, the more spiritual, spiritual growth is growing. And I also see a lot of clarity, clarity. Um, it's like you're seeing things more clearly. It's like you can see things that you never saw before. And this, what you're seeing now is giving you empowerment and a sense of freedom. You're getting to know things. You're feeling free. You're feeling more attuned to what's around you. Nature. Um, I'm trying to understand it. You're realizing your strength, how strong you are. Even your spiritual strength, you're realizing how spiritually strong you are. You're so supported. People of the masses are supporting you. You're not just supported by, you know, a few people. You like to do your own thing. You like to sing your own song, do your own thing, and you're doing it. And you're, if you haven't, you are going to start one area. Maybe you haven't been doing that particular something. Well, you are going to be starting it very soon. I see December being the, the major December is becoming the beginning of this venture of something you've always wanted to do. You're venturing into it. You're looking into it. You're getting deeper into it and you're perhaps finding ways to start it. I see like your mind has been wanting to start this, this matter for such a long time and you're finally going to do it. Now you may be feeling a little bit restless, a little bit dissatisfied. But things are more possible now. What wasn't possible, now it's possible. Be ready for an amazing adventure. 
and pursue your vision, pursue what you want, look into it, don't get scattered, um, concentrate on, on getting what you want. I feel like there is a situation where it's a bit contradict contradictory, it's a bit confusing. It looks like you need to make a decision, but in, in, the, in regard to this decision, you have to put all your interests, your interests aside and, and do for the sake of someone else, like a sacrifice. You might be, some of you might, might say, we've already been there, we've been sacrificing. But it shows that you will only achieve your success and be able to control the situation once you leave this person, this situation or this person, leaving them alone, letting go of them. It's something like that, very bizarre. I feel like, you know, some... Someone has been suffering in silence. Maybe you have been suffering in silence in this matter and you've just been sort of having uh, worries and thoughts about it, causing you some emotional pain. But ultimately, maybe it was guilt and deep regret that brought this matter on. I feel like you keep going back into the past actions and what you've done or what has happened Maybe you might have been the cause of somebody causing you misery or they you they they might be causing you misery and you keep looking at the past and and there's worry, there's self-doubt, this this clouded judgment, you know. This pain will heal very soon. I feel like with this is gonna be a challenge where you are gonna take a stand. I see someone standing, fighting for what they believe in and putting boundaries, setting boundaries that will slowly uh, get rid of this person and you are finally free of this person or the situation. You're standing up for yourself. Yes, you will have criticism. Yes, you will have challenges. You know, this person might even challenge your authority. But ultimately, um, you are going to be aggressive enough. Maybe you don't have to be aggressive in your way of expression. Very important. You can be aggressive very easily without expressing with words and hurting someone. You can actually become aggressive by setting boundaries, boundaries that keeps uh, uh, someone at bay and away from you with a very kind, very nice, very beautiful way of doing it. Uh, you've got to do it this way. This person isn't someone easy to deal with, but you have to be fearless and bold. But again, I will say not using expression because this person sort of attacks at expression. So it's got to be something very diplomatic tactfulness very nicely even even sometimes underhanded lies okay and, and i'll tell you what i mean by this say for example say for example this is although i'm, I'm very lousy at examples but i'll just say say there is a, someone stuck on you and they won't take no for an answer instead of attacking them oh, i'll do this i'll do that i'll get you you know i'll get you in trouble what you do is very nicely slowly you just set boundaries you're busy you're not home spend time out do this do that slowly sort of show them that you're busy or you're into something else and you're not that interested but you know still very nice and gentle like slowly slowly to taper them off rather than abruptly saying it's over i don't want this you know i don't want your presence i don't want this it's just uh, because i have seen through the past being a psychologist i used to deal with a lot of people a lot of relationships and situations where sometimes the truth was so painful where people reacted in ways that were very harmful and abusive so why i'm saying that underhanded um truth manipulating the truth so that, that that it's not so severe and some people can't handle the truth not everybody can handle the truth so perhaps perhaps you're trying to get rid of someone you do it in a very tactful way without hurting their feelings but manipulating situations so that you're busy spending time here i'm not there i'm not available oh sorry i was coming but i couldn't make it like, like that slowly until they taper off and you've got to do that for some time you've got to be fearless and bold but not with your words because words can cause problems you are a leader you know what i'm talking about leadership this is for those of you who are dealing with people that are complicated and people who won't take no for an answer or people they won't have they don't get it and you have to say it bluntly and the and the bluntliness the the raw truth is so painful so you've got to be tactful yes defend what you believe in yes take the lead but remember you are so powerful and magic works through you so through the power of magic within you, the magic that I talk about is your power, your your instinct, your your intuition, your your compassion, everything that makes you who you are. 
uh, can slowly um, free you out of the situation without the actual confrontation that might be not accepted with the with the um the next party not you the the um the other person self love is important freeing yourself is and healing from where you are is very important for those of you who are going through this i do see quite honestly what i'm seeing is someone of fire energy and this fire energy it looks to me like it's someone like aries that's what i'm seeing here i'm seeing the ram it could be very uh, someone very that they might not be born uh, as aries they might be born um you know another sign but they might have aries within them i just see aries here very strong i see fire aries very strong and i see that there is some sort of um what's the word aggression i'm seeing aggressiveness i'm seeing someone that's compact you know they combat they're they're they're, they're like a warrior um you know someone that is sort of that you need to assert yourself from someone that is sort of like uh you know i mean aries we're talking about you know, aries are beautiful people don't get me wrong but they are ruled by mars and some of them not all of them but some mars is a warrior is a god of war so there could be some aggression you know a person so doesn't want to leave or doesn't want to do a certain thing in a certain way and and then there could be something like that some sort of um so that you don't aggravate this this uh, aggression so that it's not aggravated i'm trying to say just try to be a bit manipulative using tactics diplomacy like you would do with a child when you're trying to tell them steer them away from something that kind of um situation ultimately i am seeing you very powerful and um you know i see i see you as a giant and that means not that you're big a giant means that you are so powerful and you are going to be you are in control of your life you are the authority of your life you are you have got the willpower you have the self-control you are very powerful you have the leadership ability you just gotta know how to put them together so that you can assume control of a of a, a very delicate situation one thing I love about you, Scorpio, and, and I already know it about you, and it's shown here, that you do take every step with caution. You are so, um, you know, defending those who are weak around you. Very comp That's why the compassion comes, very compassionate. So you need to protect yourself uh, from some people, and it looks to me like there is going to be, there may be a very loving relationship between you and someone that might have gone sour and you want to sort of detach yourself and it's becoming a bit complicated. That that could be a possibility. But I'm seeing you empowered to high levels of power. And I see that, you know, this person might be fighting because they don't want to lose you. It could be that kind of a thing that I don't want to lose you. I don't, you know, I, you know, you've got choices. I don't. It's like choices, but you know, you've got choices of a better life. So you want to embrace that. And I feel like, you know, for this person, maybe love is the answer. For them, maybe it's hard to fall in love again or, you know, could be a situation like that. These are just examples of what I'm seeing. Trying to get yourself out of a situation where somebody wants to hold on and it's that kind of a thing. I feel love is going to be the answer if this person falls in love. Uh, they do uh miss you when they don't see you perhaps and that's very gonna make it very hard for them to let go that could be another point that they're bringing forth this person uh does really care about you in their own way they love you very much and they want to hold on to you so you know this could be all, all any kind of situation where you are trying to get yourself out of uh i see a gate uh, i see a gateway and a garden it's like you want to open the gate but <laughs> you are reluctant to leave or get someone to leave it could be either way but i am seeing that within three this is within three and talking about three we're talking um december january february by february yes by february there's going to be a strategy that is going to take place within november december i'd say december this strategy that you are going to use or the universe your guardian angels are going to bring and force this strategy is moving things along and freeing you someone is leaving disappointed demoralized dissatisfied but they're leaving somebody that has a bad attitude there's a bad attitude situation here so action is taken and um you are either leaving them or they're leaving the point of the matter is that it'll be over um i see relocation moving and yeah dramatic changes in your life dramatic changes 
emotional loss maybe uh, this person will express it they'll let you know how emotionally you know how much they're grieving the loss until they sort of accept it but it's going to be over it is a loss of a relationship some sort of relationship it could be, it could be a friendship it could be a love relationship it could be a marriage it could be you know a, a long friendship maybe or some sort of dependency there was a dependency here some sort of dependency um but it is an end of a very um karmic chapter it could have been a love relationship that might have turned sour over the years but you have got the strength to move forward i do see that um, there's a better future for you much more happiness and a lot of solutions to a lot of problems are wiped out when this is over life is a mystery and it's going to show you some amazing mysteries you are going to be transcending to higher levels with the mysteries that you are finding i feel like something secretive or hidden is going to be revealed maybe it's a magical situation where the universe wants to teach you something or they might give you a gift or they might um you might find something find a way to make money find a new way a new strategy a new way a new concept but it is spiritual growth to the highest level some of you might be uh, feeling that somebody's done the wrong thing by you that will be discovered revelations something unknown hidden is coming to the light so that's going to be very interesting the most important factor that you need to know my dear scorpio is that your dreams your plans are finally going to be fulfilled no matter what we're seeing here no matter what that was the fact of the matter is you are going to be rewarded big time i see a lot of your dreams and plans are slowly going to be fulfilled one by one you will be amazed all your hard work all your careful planning all of it is going to bring you a glorious success there is even fame possibly fame people are calling you from everywhere people want to see you people are watching you people are demanding for your time you know um i don't know what kind of service you might be providing i see a lot of spirituality a lot of spiritual growth but i see a lot of positive effects happening in your self esteem there's a great victory for you an amazing triumph success coming on a high level you'll be bursting with pride from what i'm seeing here i see a lot of uh, rewards spiritual growth rewards and abundance on top of all that justice is going to prevail also i see a beautiful horse here freedom and justice taking action i also feel like you're moving forward there's a lot of karma being paid back over you're moving forward with a new beginning resolving everything in your favor as you know with justice it resolves everything in your favor there's a court case you are going to be the winner and it's going to be in your favor there's going to be a great uh what's the word um what is the word a new idea that might bring your strategy or a new idea that's bringing in a big money bag and this money bag it's like it was part of your destiny to move into this a new source of income a new inspiration that's taking you to the next level where there is a new source of income coming and it's part of your destiny it's imminent and destined to be so prepare for it a new beginning that is going to bring you abundance abundance of abundance i also feel that there's something new igniting that is going to be massive i see a beautiful leaf and the leaf represents a new life a new growth blooming something's going to blossom and bloom and i feel like there's a situation of fertility some of you are um, could be starting families some of you are having a wonderful family life some of you are starting a business some of you are starting a project that's going to be spectacular some of you could be meeting the one that you're going to spend the rest of you uniting together uh, in one life integrating together and doing well it could be partnership but it could be a love relationship that's starting there is always enough abundance coming your way from every angle which is so beautiful one challenge leaves and abundance comes wealth money high level of money is coming the year of the what is that oh my god let me just get this closer oh sorry it's a bird i thought it was um the dragon no it's about you probably think how is she confuse a bird with a dragon but there is a dragon next to it we're talking about next year something big is happening in your finances money you're gaining control over your financial life it's becoming easier to make your payments something is happening something is being revealed to you it's like a secret uh, or um, a new way of doing things where you can save money or bring money or money's coming in you're developing something that's bringing you financial success big time it was that big money back that i talked about that strategy that bring on something incredible 
but you are becoming abundant. Abundant. You're developing a new uh, path to how to put your money into into what, and you're, you're working with that. But financial success, without a doubt, money flowing through your life like, like magic, like a waterfall. So beautiful. Talking about waterfalls, oh, my God. <laughs> Where did that come from? I saw a waterfall here. A beautiful waterfall. Now, waterfalls mm, and the clover on top of the waterfall. That is amazing. What else is there? Emotions. Okay. Emotions. Waterfall. Emotions. Clover. Mm. This is about of overflowing abundance and overflowing emotions. Now, some of you could be going through emotional release, something you know bad that you might have gone through and you're finally releasing and there's tears, there's tears, there's crying. But there's also abundance coming. You're letting go of something. There's a lot of fulfillment and a lot of money, a lot of abundance. Um, I also feel that after letting go, there's a certain fulfillment that was destined for you. It's happening. Tears of joy, not tears of crying, releasing. I saw that. Then after that, there's another section where you're crying and laughing. There's a big smile that shows to me tears of happiness, tears of joy and overflowing abundance with a clover and the waterfall. This is just magic, absolutely magic. I see you living a life of luxury, a life of abundance, you know, walking through and just walking and looking at everything, you know, watching your finances grow. You're just feeling amazing, this feeling of am amazement. Even you are considering seeing a financial advisor on what to do because there's a large sum of money coming. This could be a lottery win or it could be inheritance. It could be either one or it could be a big investment paying off. Something big is coming where you will need financial advice. I always say when I see this to do two, two financial advising services. Make sure you see two and then you choose between what the best course of action is. Always remember that. That is so important. Mm. Yes. Okay. I'll just move this one forward. There's a section I'd like to see better. If I just do this one second. Mm, okay. Just wondering from there to there. I'm looking for timing because I'm looked. I'm I'm seeing like this could take up to nine weeks from what I'm talking about. Uh, this large sum of money, nine is there, number nine. And nine is about abundance. Nine is also about one challenge that you'll overcome. And then this happens. It's giving us timing. And timing within nine. Could be nine weeks, nine days, nine weeks. I also see like, this is, yes. So you know about the abundance. You know what's happening financially. We, we, we covered that. Now I'm seeing something important. Some of you, not all of you, some of you are reconciling with, in regard to an existing relationship, some of you, but the majority of you are starting a new relationship and taking a chance with someone. That's what I'm seeing. The majority are taking a chance in a new relationship. Okay, so this person is someone that is, what's, what is it about this person? This person is someone very successful, generous, and they are very affectionate and hard workers this person can be someone that is uh, they do possess leadership qualities this person is of earth energy a lot of earth so much earth energy so you're leaving fire moving towards earth finally ah uh, my dear scorpio those of you who have elevated in years it's the best thing you do when you move from fire always water searching you are water scorpio searching for fire for warmth and then when you reach to a high level of growth spiritual growth and of course your vibrations get higher you go towards the earth and that's what i'm seeing here earth earth gives you structure earth gives you expansion earth gives you what you need to grow and to flourish fire gives you warmth sensuality fun excitement but it's short-lived because it comes up with a lot of flares a lot of issues but that's not important now. What is important for those uh, Scorpios who are elevated to a level of to being with Earth energy? I'm seeing very strong Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. Very strong. Now, if you are with someone that is fire and air, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, leaving them is not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of, you know, especially if you're dealing with fire and air together. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of eruptions and a lot of issues like we were seeing before, trying to get rid of something like that. But doesn't matter. 
Uh, it's all part of learning. We're all here to learn, to expand. We don't only go with where the, the flow is great. We have to go through the pitfalls and fall and learn and get up and be able to move forward to grow. This person that I'm talking about, they will someone that will really inspire you. They've got qualities within them. They, they will inspire you. They might even have fire in them, but I see earth more. Earth, when there's a lot of earth, then fire becomes okay because it becomes, uh, fa f they have foundation. So they, they become very stable and, and very um, elevated. Okay. So qualities within this person and your qualities together, it's becoming a blessing. That's what I'm seeing. It's becoming an absolute blessing. You'll feel you are so blessed with this new love. Nurture it. It's going to blossom and you're going to grow. And you are you are going to blossom together and it's going to be spectacular. Now, talking about this love, uh, this new, you're expanding your concept. This person could be a twin flame. It, it's not necessary it's a soulmate. It could be a twin flame. The reason I say that is I do see that there is a deep soul activation rather than connection. You know, you activate each other. This is very hard to put into explanation because probably it hasn't been explained. Now, twin flame activates, and sometimes that becomes a bit of a healing because you, you are both on, on the same page or been through so much and you're uniting. So, you know, you activate each other. And then the soulmate is a connection, a pure, uh, you know, enchanted connection. So that's why I feel like this is going to be a twin flame where you will activate, you will reimburse you will compensate each other what you haven't what they didn't have in their life with their previous life you they will find in you and what you didn't have what was lacking in your relationship you will find in this person so you will activate each other by reimbursing and refilling those areas that were missing so i feel like this is more of a twin flame and i feel like you are going to heal in the process together Love and light is all around you, so that is magic. That on its own, and I feel like it's happening before this year ends, possibly because I see number four. I see number two and number four. It could be from now to February, from November to February, uh, and number four is connected to the Chinese year of the rabbit cat, which we are in. Then we're moving into the dragon, so I feel like, and we got February. Could, Chinese year of the cat rabbit is ending in February, so I've got two and four. So I feel like maybe. Possibly from now till February, March. Um, the energy of merging together is going to be so spectacular. You'll feel it. It's like you're becoming one again with someone who can understand you, one that you're on the same level, one that thinks like you, one that likes the, thing, the things that you love. So it's going to be so much fun. It's a fresh start, and you are going to love this fresh start. You will find out more about yourself, how limitless you are, how incredible you are, how capable you are, how much you know, how much you want to know, how much you want to do. Through this person, this person sort of, um, what's the word? They, they, they will embrace, they will enhance that part of you where you want to grow and do. And you're leaving behind someone and forgiving them. There's forgiveness. So the past disappointments are going to the end. There's going, you are going to go through a forgiveness and then this situation starts with this new person. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is going to be an opportunity for you to learn and expand and grow and taste and, 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 and love and, you know, be happy. New love again. It shows here new love, a new chapter of love. Um, it could be, you could be meeting someone through work. But there's spiritual growth big time. So maybe spiritual growth was going to lead you to that. Now, what is amazing here, that what I want to tell you, <laughs> it's like it's been divided, the ending, about who you're leaving behind and who you might be embracing next in the new love. So this is all about November and onwards, right? So we will say November, December, we could say, or we could say November to January. In regard to this section, I'm seeing fire energy Aries, one, two, three, four rams. That's why I knew it. One, two, three, four. Four rams. And it's it's becoming the past because this is the future. So four rams here. One, two, three, four. Four Aries here. So you're leaving an Aries, I feel. You're leaving. And it's not only Aries, but there's four Aries, but there's also Leo. One, two, three, Leo. And there's two Sagittarius. Hmm. You know, when I said leaving fire energy behind, there is a possibility that some of you may be leaving 
fire energy behind that has air in it wow aquarius three one two three aquarians okay and one gemini one libra you could have been with someone of fire energy that had air in them which made them very fire and air makes them unhappy very unhappy sad always complaining always not happy um not settled when they're like that without earth in them so if there's no earth it just makes it really hard um i also feel like you could have been with someone that had uh, water energy like cancer pisces possibly cancer twice two crabs you could have had a cancer uh, or pisces with a lot of um air and fire in them which makes them very hard on themselves unhappy unsettled and don't forget some of you who are in the younger years you're meeting this person because this is going to be a twin flame where you react and relive together and start a beautiful life together and then of course later you move forward to the next level it's amazing the cup has got the wisdom to do that and i am delivering this which i shouldn't really but sometimes i get caught up in the truth sometimes you have to avoid this when you're dealing with say people that are up to their 30 35 uh, they're, they're actually starting this chapter, starting with someone that has water, cancer, or Pisces. There's no Scorpio. Um, Scorpio, because you're Scorpio. But sometimes there are, but there isn't this time. And, of course, um, four Aries and three Aquarius. This is someone that constantly will be getting angry and then becoming calm again. Anger, calm again. And, you know, like ex like an explosive kind of... But the cancer and then will always try to... But the cancer is moody also. So if you see what I mean, the combination is overwhelming. It is someone wonderful. Don't get me wrong. They might have a heart of gold. They might be someone very loyal, very loving. But they've got that up and down kind of a, uh, a situation where they get angry quickly and then they heal quickly and then, you know, it's like that. But if they do have cancer, then they'll be very moody. So what I'm seeing is you're elevating to the next level. And the next level, some of you are the older scorpions are meeting earth energies earth energy being very very strong and it doesn't say one two three of this or that it just shows earth so it's all of them earth energies are virgo capricorn taurus none of them here it's just showing very strong earth so you may be meeting someone with very strong earth in them they could be water energy they could be pisces they could be cancer with earth energy which gives them stability and they surpass that part of their life where it's anger now if you do have if you do meet an aries Say, for example, it's an Aries because there's four of them here. And then if they've got earth in them, but it isn't, it isn't like that. They don't have earth in them. Unless by a miracle you meet your soulmate, which is cancer, perhaps a water energy, or Aries even fire, with, um, with earth gives them calmness. It gives them stability. You know, no matter who the person is, no matter what star sign, people usually become angry or, um, explosive or sort of uh, react in 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 a, in a way is because when they when their stability is not there when they don't have foundation when uh, they have their own foundation if they have a bit of earth in them it gives them that stability it gives them that sense of security so when they feel fear they um they do react uh, in an erratical way or in a very um a very explosive way so that's what i'm trying to say so if you were dealing with someone like fire or air energy that had no or even water energy that had no base no foundation no earth within them it will be very hard but years over time they do learn to stabilize and when then usually the universe is so so compassionate it gives them an earth energy so they can find themselves their stability their foundation their lack of fear all in that earth so my dear scorpio why i'm saying all this because i feel like you're elevating uh, some of you elevating to the next level the next level is is going to be earth and your uh, majority of this person that's coming the one that you're growing with you're expanding with you are uh, thriving with because the water thrives when there's earth they can move so much and earth replenishes with water so they welcome it and and they start enjoying you know the enjoyment and the appreciation of one another that's what i'm talking about actually i was putting it into the elements but <laughs> i shouldn't explain it i don't know why i do maybe it's just part of my nature that i put everything together like with logic and with everything seeing the foundation of where i'm coming from what i'm talking about 
anyhow my dear viewers or my dear beautiful scorpio you are moving you're elevated to someone very very wonderful and this person could be someone um, a dragon i'm seeing dragon now very strong dragon earth energy 100 percent. earth is taken over and there's dragon chinese zero the dragon one two three four four dragons so if you are chinese zero the dragon prepare to see i'll tell you who your who your um, other person is or the person that is coming could be for many many of you the majority of scorpio dragon i see dragon very strong i see the horse here very strong one two three four beautiful horses four horses chinese zero the horse and you know what's amazing um the dragon and the horse, they don't go together, but they do end up uh, living together. <laughs> it's really amazing. And then I'm seeing uh, the dog, Chinese ear of the dog. The Chinese ear of the dog goes okay with the horse. It does go okay with the horse. Uh, not much with the dragon. Then I see, I'm see i seeing tiger. One, two, three, three, four, four tigers. Chinese ear of the tiger here, very strong. The tiger goes hmm oh, it doesn't go with any of that okay and then i'm seeing the rat okay i'll tell you who these who goes with what even though they're not here so we got the dragon being number one the strongest here the dragon goes beautifully with the buffalo ox the dragon goes amazingly with the goat it goes on top of the world soulmate of the rooster so you know if you're a dragon okay then i've got the horse the horse is the soulmate of trying to remember of the pig uh, and then it goes beautifully with the ox practically second soulmate buffalo then we've got uh, who was the other one um i just bear with me my glasses they're falling as always okay now they're always falling and i've got to push them back when i push them back they're a bit too much okay then i've got the dog okay so the dog um goes amazingly with the snake chinese hero the snake it goes beautifully with um with the snake and the and the cat the the, the rabbit um we've got tiger here also and tiger goes beautifully with the ox buffalo the tiger goes beautifully with the rooster and it, go, it goes well with the goat. We don't have the goat. I'm just saying what I'm seeing and who they go well with. This could be the person. Now, for, don't forget there is billions of scorpions. And each scorpio has a different Chinese ear. So it depends who you are with who you will go. So that you know. Chinese ear of the rat here strong. The rat goes beautifully with the snake. The rat goes beautifully also with the goat. Number one soulmate goat. Then I see a snake here. There it is a snake. One, two, three snakes. Three snakes, Chinese ear of the snake. And it goes perfect with the rat, but it's the soulmate of the dog. And soulmate of the the snake is also the soulmate of who there's one more. The rat and the dog. Yes, rat, rat and the dog. Uh, the buffalo. Wow, there's three. One, two, three buffaloes here. Chinese ear of the buffalo goes perfect with the dragon, goes perfect with the horse, and goes perfect with the monkey. Chinese ear of the pig here now, I'm seeing. Two pigs. Chinese ear of the pig. Pig goes well with the horse number one soulmate of the horse second goes with um the tiger goes well with the tiger and then we got the goat here chinese ear of the goat and the goat goes beautifully with the remember i said with the dragon it goes beautifully well with the dog chinese ear of the monkey one two monkeys here chinese ear of the monkey the monkey goes beautifully with number one soulmate of the monkey is the, the ox buffalo and another one is the rooster. Amazing. Then we have the cat, Chinese ear of the rabbit cat. There's only two cats here, two rabbits. So um, the majority were the ones that we talked about, but they're still making a big impact. That You know, you could be a dog and and, and uh, your twin flame could be a, a cat rabbit. They do become twin flames and learn from each other and sometimes even karma between the cat and the dog. The cat's soulmate is the monkey. The monkey is there. There's two monkeys, two cats, two rabbits. Um, and the cat also, the rabbit, is the soulmate of the monkey. I said the monkey, but there's one more. I'm just trying to remember the other one. Oh, it goes beautifully with the horse, but there's one more with the cat. Why is it I can't put it together? There's, oh, yeah, the dog. 
the dog is with the cat then we've got finally one more the rooster chinese year of the rooster and the rooster goes beautiful with the monkey the rooster goes exceptionally well with the tiger and it goes well with the um the horse it goes beautifully with the horse okay my dear viewers what i'm seeing very important i see a beautiful love beginning blooming beautifully and i'm also seeing uh, a trumpet some news is coming your way i see the sun shining i see you spending time out outdoors doing things i see a beautiful grasshopper you're doing so much you're moving forward you're reading a book some of you are dealing with a book there's a book it's amazing i'm seeing a book sitting on a branch like a tree and growing and growing and growing and it's right on top of it on top of the branches of this tree some of you are writing and there's brushes instead of painting uh, pens there's brushes you might be illustrating a book you know, there might be pictures in the book there might be something about this book a book is growing some of you are reading a book and this book could be giving you a lot of growth it's amazing i'm seeing transformations i'm seeing um, elevations and i'm seeing you feeling uh very happy a lot of happiness a lot of joy coming your way now I hope I didn't go over the time. Bear with me now. I'm going to deliver to you very quickly. Oh my God, I have gone over. And this gratitude, the first thing. I've got to deliver this fast. My dear Scorpio, we've got gratitude to the highest level. You're becoming grateful for something amazing, some blessings coming in your life. August could be somebody, uh, something happening in August. Could be some someone born in August, which are usually Leos and Virgos. And knock on the door. I don't know what about what what just a knock on the door so be ready to open the door knock on the door means news or somebody coming uh, it could be a visitor uh, it could be someone that is going to be the bearer of good news and knock on the door remember that sleeping something about sleep somebody could be sleeping somebody could be not sleeping well some, somebody could be having issues with sleep or literally sleep in the olden days sleep meant resting 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 in peace also could be passing somebody the knock on the door could be news about somebody passing. That could be a possibility. Not exactly. Something is not exactly as you may assume. But you are excited about something. There's excitement. A gift from the heavens, which is beautiful. A gift from the heavens. It says forgive. You need to forgive a situation to be able to let go. Something about Leo. Maybe forgiving a Leo. So there's a Leo there. There was two lions here. Okay, there's going to be a miracle. Oh, wow. How beautiful. I love uh, your reading, my dear Scorpio. A gift from the heaven and miracle. Miracle is going to take place. Something about a lockdown. Something's going to be locked down or somebody could be locked down. Something about a lockdown. Lockdown can mean, and mean confinement or restriction. Candles. Your path is getting clearer. Uh, there could be something spiritual taking place. And I will move on quickly to the names. Now, I was given the letter H three times. H. H for Henry. Harry um hilda helen horse we had a lot of horses here okay then i've got c three times c for charlie cindy um canada connie con conrad okay then i've got let me just put my glasses back on i thought i could do this but this i can't tell whether it's a u or a v now it's a u hmm. umbrella under Um, what else for you under upper okay then i've got uh two that was two you two times n for nelly n for nebraska n for nancy n for nicholas n for no and then i i've got i for indie indigo i've got i for i am i've got q for quilt q for quails r for rome r for roxanne r for um Richard, Raymond, Rex. I've got X for X-rays. I've got um, Z for Z for Zebra, for Zoo, for Zulu. And then we've got S for Stephen, S for Stella, S for um, Susan, S for Sweet. And then I've got V for Victory, V for uh, Virgo, V for Victory. Number nine is given to me, Chinese Year of the Monkey. 
Number eight, Chinese year of the goat. Number six, Chinese year of the snake. The nine is about a challenge that you will overcome within the time of frame of nine weeks or up to nine months. I'd say nine weeks from the time you see this cup, you will overcome a challenge nine weeks into November. November onwards, up to nine weeks, you will overcome a challenge and you will become abundant. Number uh, And it's connected to people born uh, in the year of the monkey or, or connected to people born in September or might have in them Virgo or Libra. Number eight, the Chinese year of the goat. From the time you see this, you are transcending to higher levels, leveling up to a better position. From the time you see this cup up to eight weeks. I also see August was given to you, August. Someone in August born or something about August. And then eight, of course, is connection to August. Someone born in August, which are Leos and Virgos. And then eight is also connected to Chinese year of the goat. I said that. And okay, elevation. Then we've got number six. Number six is connected to the Chinese year of the snake. We had three snakes here, Chinese year of the snake, connected to people born in June, which are Gemini or Cancer. Um, and also it is connected to love, peace, finding peace and love. And from the time you see this reading up to six weeks, there's going to be a lot of uh, peace and love or healing, a lot of healing from love, from love because of love, either one six weeks from november onwards and that is the end of your reading my dear viewers i hope you enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about it and share with me your comments to tell me you know what connects and what you find um that was so specific for you that was so special in the messages that came don't forget gratitude a gift from the heavens and a miracle and a knock on the door Please let me know what that is. What When it happens, just comment in the Scorpio. I wish you abundance of blessings, love and light, and a lot of, a lot of best wishes. Namaste.